why I think I fight. Do I enjoy it? No. Do I enjoy training? No. Do I enjoy cutting weight? No. Am I nervous? Yes. Do I think to myself, what am I doing? Yes. Completely. Unfortunately, it's one of those things you're either born with or you're not. And the only way I can explain it to try and make it make any sense is that if I'm not doing something which is either extremely difficult or extremely stressful, I'm in a perpetual state of crippling boredom. I can't explain it. I see other people live their lives and they're like, oh, I can't wait for the weekend because I want to watch this movie. I think, who cares about a movie? You're looking forward to the weekend for a movie? You're looking forward to the weekend to get drunk? Like these things to me are so mundane. They mean nothing. And if I don't fight, if I'm not in a situation where I'm stressed or worried or concerned, I'm just perpetually bored. And boredom's crippling. If you're an intelligent person and you've got a good brain on your shoulders, you can't just sit there bored, you know? So most smart people take the academic route to avoid boredom. They learn, 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 learn. But that's never really interested me either. Although I've always been an intelligent guy and I've always done well academically, it, was, it never really interested me. And then I see people climb Mount Everest or jump off buildings or do base jumping or the guy who jumped from space. People think, what's he doing? He's crazy. I understand. But some people can't live normal lives. Some people cannot just function, nine to five office job, get drunk at the weekends. That is not for some individuals and it's not for me. So I have to find something which keeps me physically tired enough to stop me going AWOL um, and mentally tired enough. And I've chosen fighting because without this, when I'm not in training, I wake up every day and think, okay, what am I gonna do today? It's 9 a.m. on a Tuesday, I'm bored. Everyone's at work, I'm bored. And I'll end up doing something crazy. I'll either end up drunk or, or on the Eurostar, or you know, it's just it's just a random lifestyle because I'm constantly looking for never-ending entertainment and it doesn't exist. I think the only thing that could stop me fighting is if I had enough money to constantly entertain myself. Unless I'm a billionaire, I need something that keeps me focused and keeps me occupied in life. With fighting, I have to train twice a day and I have to train hard. And the stress can be the stress it brings in every aspect can replace fun and my mind is occupied, it occupies me. It's the only way I can try and explain it, it occupies me and I could never stop doing this even if I lost 100 fights because I'm not built to live a normal existence. I can't do it, I couldn't just have a kid with some girl and sit at home and work a little bit and relax. I've never relaxed in my entire life, I don't know what relaxing is, it's just not me. I was a four-time kickboxing world champion. For 12 years, I trained five hours a day, six days a week. And I was motivated to train probably about 25% of the time. The rest of the time I went because I am disciplined. You don't feel like going through that shit on a Wednesday morning when you wake up, but you have to do it because you're disciplined. You're either a disciplined individual or you are not a disciplined individual. There's, there's, there's a difference between want and want. And I say this all the time. People say to me, I want to be rich. And I say, okay, well, I want to be able to ice skate but I don't want to be able to ice skate enough to go learn how to ice skate because I can't be bothered. I, I mean, surely if I could click my fingers and be a figure skater, I'd, I'd click my fingers. Who wouldn't? But I don't want to actually go train because it's, because it's, I, don't, I don't want it enough. And this is the exact point with money. Everyone wants money put on their lap. If you truly wanted money, you wouldn't be able to sleep until you fucking had it. And this is the point because when I had nothing, I couldn't be distracted. You couldn't distract me from what I wanted. That's who I am. If I want something, I'm gonna get it. I, I do not need to be motivated. I'm a disciplined person. If I allocate X amount of time to work, I'm gonna do it. But that is the bottom line answer. It's discipline. You're gonna to have to work when you don't feel like working. That's how it's gonna to have to be, or you're never gonna be eating. One of the only things in this world you can control is your state of mind. You can't control the weather. You can't control other people. You can't even control your health. You might get a brain hemorrhage, or you might get hit by a bus. One of the very few things in the world you have genuine control over is your state of mind. You decide if you're a disciplined person. You decide if you're a happy person. You decide if you're a uh, depressed person. These are things that in real time you can affect in your brain. This is all you can control on earth. If you can't control that, then you're just a feather in the wind and life's gonna blow you around and you might land somewhere good. You might land in dog shit, nobody knows. Your state of mind is what you should be able to control. If you can't wake up and say, today I'm making some money and actually try your very, very best and actually stay dedicated to that task. If you can't do that, you're fine. Every man understands you shouldn't be complaining about things you cannot change. 
You have to play the cards you're dealt. To be born a certain height and then to sit there and go, what do I do? I'll tell you what you do. You become the best version of yourself, just like everyone else does. Nothing about the height is in and of itself enough value for me to be a valuable man. As a man, you build your value. You are born with the cards you're dealt. Sure, it'd be ideal. Look, I'd love to be seven foot tall. I'm not. So it's the same argument. If you're five foot two, you need to become rich, strong, and funny, and charismatic, and interesting, and witty. If you're six foot four, you need to become rich, strong, well-connected. It's the same game. So to sit there and complain about it is asinine. All of you have a handful. I don't think you understand that. You could have been in a car crash at four years old and lost your legs. Do you have any understanding of how lucky you have been? This is pure luck. There's no re- This only luck has kept you fully able-bodied, sitting there, capable of learning and listening and becoming something. You don't really need to be that tall if you're important and rich, and when you walk in the room, you think when fucking Mayweather walks in the room, people give a shit? Fix that frame in your mind. You are viewing yourself as a short man. Stop it. Walk the fuck up and be the man!